the um, look at my, my, my last thing I wanted to discuss was the the Mead and Dublin kind of Mead's kind of form lately. Um, obviously, your work is is taking a lot of flack here. What's your opinion on it, or any any what you know? What do you think, basically? Look, I, I just think the the irony of the whole situation is quite funny. It's quite amusing for me because. I, I used to sit and listen to that man ber- berate the likes of Mickey Hart, berate the likes of Rory Gallagher, and those coaches just absolutely schooled him like a wee schoolboy this year. You know, it was it was embarrassing. No, but it was embarrassing the way his team was set up. And I'm not going to lie, like with the, it doesn't wash for me this whole thing about oh the average age of the Meath team is younger than anybody in the league. Well, if that's the case, if the average age of the Meath team is younger than any other team in the league. It's even more of a reason to give those young players a bit of direction, a bit of protection, and have some sort of form of defensive setup there where they can actually be competitive in games. If that team is young, there's not one lad in that team is going to believe that Callum O'Rourke's way is the right way. Not one lad in that squad is going to believe that the way he wants to set teams up is the right way to play football. The naivety of that performance, and the and I wouldn't even say naivety, and I'm just going to be bluntly honest, it's just pure ignorance. That's all it is. It's ignorance. Like, but that's what it is, like. Just ignorance, like you know, this is the way I play football. We're going to kick the ball, and that's it. And that's just pure ignorance on his on his behalf, you know. And yeah. the whole street principle power thing, you know, and and that's all it is. Like. So that's all it is, you know. And you know, stubbornness, ignorance, whatever you want to call it. People say naivety. It's not naivety, like you know. It's probably stupidity. That's what it is, like because to think that you're going to set a team up like the way he set that team up. I feel sorry for those young lads in Meath. I really feel sorry for them. That's the, that's, to tell you God's honest truth, I feel sorry for them because to set a team up like that and send them out to play football like that is just, it's it's embarrassing. Like, you know, what Dublin you done can, to them the, the other day was, was crazy. crazy. You, you, you can see as the weeks have gone on, though, Phoebe, their confidence level have, uh, have dwindled in terms of, you know, I, I know myself, um, I mean, in 2010, like, I just gave you an example. In 2010, obviously, we lost Longford in the qualifier and then, Within within a year, we're in the non Ireland semi final, and that's yeah. like the squad didn't turn over here. Like so, it's 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 amazing what you know leadership at the top or a management mm-hmm. can do to a squad of players yeah. here. And I just think yeah. maybe the belief, you know, there are kind of work was in the first couple of weeks were 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 going well, and then obviously they hit a, a bump in the road with Jerry and the way they're being set up, going man to man. Um, there seems to be you know the messages, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. What's what's Mead's Mead's patterns of play here? What's their style of play? It's it seems to me it's just going man to man. I will say like just the, the little things that like Dublin the skill set of Dublin compared to Mead in terms of just the hand, hand you know simple hand pass going 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 to chest or going to the stomach like the, there was a play and I just thought it summed it up so well where Dublin Dublin went this they went to the pitch and literally took I think it was three plays. It was a kick pass. Um, Murtha did a kick pass across the pitch. Literally, a man didn't break stride. Another kick pass up the line, and literally uh, a hand pass, and it was over the bar. But all the little things, the basics, and people, I, I think people underestimate this, and they, they don't realize how important it is. People say, oh, Gaelic football is a very simple game. It's a very simple mm-hmm. game where you can, we can kick the ball with both feet and hand pass the ball with both hands mm-hmm. as well to a very high level and execute it at high high bloody pace and mm-hmm. Mead it should show it on the last day that Mead are, are are behind in that and it's going to take time for them to really like if you ever notice uh, just from your own time playing so you like so like in, in training sessions like you know the running we'll say and running don't get me wrong condition is so so important but sometimes I feel like you know players get more up for the running because they know it's going to be a fucking pain in the hole but then a simple hand passing drill or kick passing drill you know the, the focus the focus is gone because oh we're going to take our little break here it's going to you know a bit of a rest time here and that fucking focus should be even more with that because the basic fucking skills of the game yeah, huh? yeah, even higher. Yeah, no, I've said that many a time coaching. Many a time coaching, and I've said, like, if I got you boys to stand on that end line and run from that end line to that end line, it would be done at the highest tempo, yeah. maximum yeah. effort, you know, great, 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 great industry, great, great energy, you know, great application. Yeah. 
simple hand pass and drill can be loose, it can be lethargic, it can be sloppy, you know, no. Listen, I think I think it's a, it's a huge part and I think probably it's one of the things that obviously, uh, going back to, to McGuinness actually, it's one of the things that, that sort of would, would come out from, from the, the down camp is that, you know, the whole big thing about his application of his skills and the intensity of his, of, of, of the of the drills and stuff, he's not really a massive, massive believer in the whole condition game things or whatever, you know, he's, he's not really into the whole game space thing, it's, it's about performing the skills at a very, very high level a very very high pace very high tempo you know and moving the ball with with great pace and authority you know and stuff like that so look as i say you know yes and uh, that that's a big part of me as well but at the same time even more so even more so if you don't have the skill set and you don't have the level that you're at don't go out and try and play at that level I don't know, go out I know. Yeah, yeah. A style of football that you just simply cannot play, like you know, and that's yeah. that's the bottom. I, but like, but I, am I right in saying like, and maybe I'm wrong, like, but like, me were never associated with this swashbuckling football. Like, me were always associated with dogged, determinist, great defenders. You know, yeah. really, really yeah. aggressive, aggressive defending. You know, you know, uh, probably maybe in Columns era, there were it was borderline, it was borderline, like you know, assault at times, like but but the fact of the matter was, like there were always a hardy, hardy team to play against. Me football was always renowned for that, like so. Yes. I don't know where this sort of you know Disneyland stuff that he's thinking about playing is is coming from, like you know, because it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen, and no. and and he's probably probably lucky this year that Limerick uh, uh, that Limerick were in the division yes. because yeah. The, the, them and them and Kildare could easily be in a relegation battle. Easily be in a relegation battle. And it, it'll be interesting to see, as we were saying earlier on the show, we'll finish up now. But, like, obviously, the Limerick uh, Rage MC and Paddy Carr have gone already, and the, the floodgates could be opening up here. Like, oh, I still like Cullum and uh, Glenn Ryan, two uh, obviously famous players, are massive service to the county. They'll obviously get their, they'll finish out the year here. But, you know, even. You know, your reputation will only go so far as a player. If you're not producing the results at, at senior level, well, then players and players will soon get disillusioned. And, you know, you know, a squad of 30 players can see it. It doesn't take long for them to see it. If, if they don't see you can take them to a place where they see themselves going here, well, you're not going to last long, in my opinion, anyway. 